What's going on guys, the CTA Prime back here again. Today I am super excited because we're going to be running ReDream, my favorite Dreamcast emulator, on the Raspberry Pi. Now keep in mind, this is a development build of ReDream for the Pi. I'm running Raspbian here in a Raspberry Pi 4, 4GB model. I do have this overclocked to 2 gigahertz on the CPU and 650 megahertz on the GPU. Yes, I know I can go higher, but this is what I've been working with here. And overall, I've had really good performance with ReDream on the Pi 4. So like I mentioned, this is a development build and it's only going to get better over time. I do notice some slowdowns every once in a while, a little bit of screen tearing, but overall performance has been outstanding on the Pi 4. You can download this right now from the ReDream website, but you will need to run it in an operating system like Raspbian. That's the only one I've tested it in. And if anybody's really interested in this, I can do a full tutorial, but it's really easy to set up. So with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get right into it. I'm going to connect this to my screen capture so we can see it a little better. I'm going to go over the settings I'm using, and then we'll test out a bunch of games. All right, so here we are at the Raspbian desktop. I do have this Pi overclocked to 2 gigahertz and 650 megahertz on the GPU, but I did test this at the stock clocks and at the lowest resolution inside of ReDream, I was able to run Marvel vs. Capcom 2 at 60 FPS, given every once in a while it'd have a dip. I personally haven't tested it with this overclock, but we're about to get right into it. So I will be doing a video on how to install this. I mean, it's super easy to do. I've downloaded ReDream, extracted it, I also own a premium copy of ReDream, and I've put my license right here. I'm just going to double click on the ReDream application. So up here, under video, you will not have the internal resolution listed if you don't have a premium version. I'm at 640 by 480 window size is 1280 by 720 and those are pretty much the only options that I changed except for mapping my Xbox remote. It was actually already set up, but I always have trouble with the left and right trigger. Plus, I wanted to enter the main menu, so I set this key up. I got all my games listed here, and everything is running from the internal SD card. This is just a 32 gigabyte card, and I got about 10 gigs of Dreamcast games here. So let's go ahead and get right into it. First up, we'll do Marvel vs. Capcom 2. I do notice a little bit of screen tearing every once in a while. Hopefully this is fixed in a later build, but keep in mind this is still in beta. So overall, this is not bad at all for a beta. I'm sure this is going to be running at full speed. They'll get all those little glitches and stuff out of the way, especially at this lower resolution. But this is still really awesome to see Dreamcast running at full speed on a Raspberry Pi 4. I'm going to go ahead and test a few more games here. I will leave the name of the game on screen so you know what's playing at any given time. And I'll be back at the end to give you my final thoughts. <laughs>
叶うようね俺の勝ちだ負けるわけにはいきません Get ready. Maybe I should get another. Hmm, I know this.
I should try again. I'll pass. So overall, it's working really well for a development build. It's only going to get better from here. I've been following Redream for a while now, and it's come to Android, Windows, Linux, and we now have it on the Raspberry Pi 4, which is awesome to see. If you guys are really interested in a tutorial, just let me know in the comments below, and I can whip something up real quick. It's very easy to use with Raspbian. All you really need to do is double-click on the extension and execute. It'll start up and you can load your games from there. You can use external storage to store your Dreamcast games or you could use the internal micro SD card. It also works with wired or wireless controllers. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. I really appreciate you watching. Links for everything mentioned in this video will be in the description. I'd also like to know what you guys think about this in the comments below. But like always, thanks for watching.